built all kinds of experimental aircraft. Ornithopters that flap their wings, helicopters. In the old days, it was called an autogyro because the propeller was tilted to blow the blades around. A gyro did not rotate the engine. It was rotated by a propeller, tilted like that, to blow the blades around. A guy named Sierra, a from Latin America, a Spanish guy, made the first auto gyro. And that's, from then on, I began to make my own auto gyro. Because they operated in three dimensions, automobiles was only on a flat plane, two dimensions, height and width, you know. But automob airplanes were three dimensions upside down. They were, and they had a, when you did a barrel roll, you had to shut the valve off so the fuel didn't leak out. It had all kinds of things. It had to deal with, there were no curtains in the airplanes or gingerbread on them. They were very practical. You could automobiles had horses' heads in front of them when I was a kid, some of them. It was a stuffed horse's head to make people feel more comfortable. And they had curtains in the windows, you know, of automobiles. There's a lot of gingerbread on the cars. The brass headlights had curlicues all over them and all that. And then I began to draw automobiles that looked like today's cars in the old days. You know. Didn't sharks influence you? Sharks influenced me for some for the shape. The mouth was functional. It didn't open in the front. It was just a slot in the back. It didn't interfere with the shape. You know, and they had teeth in a row, and they kept shaving their teeth as they used them. A shark was slick. The fin fared right out of the shark's body. It didn't look like it was glued on and made of something else. It was made of cartilage. You know, so sharks were always, and then it had a, instead of a gill, it had a lot of slots, like a radiator, and the water went through and came out of those slots. And sharks, to me, were very, but when you run your finger over a shark, it's very coarse, the wrong way, if you run it backwards. So it's hard for a shark to be eaten, because they were raspy when you touch them. I found the shark very streamlined, and my airplanes, early airplanes, looked like a shark. 